Here are two Precisa adding machines. The one on the right is the simpler model. It's the model 160 and it was made from 1961 until 1975. It can simply do adding and subtracting but uh, no multiplication. Or rather you can do multiplication sort of semi-automatically by uh, repeated addition. This particular machine was made in 1969 because the serial number starts with the letter B. The one on the left here is the model 364 and it looks almost exactly the same except it has a few extra buttons on this side and a switch and those allow for uh, automatic multiplication. Um, this one was made from 1963 until 1978 or so and uh, this particular one has a serial number starting with the letter D so it was made in 1971. Unfortunately the machine on the right, this simpler one, has a few mechanical problems. The carry doesn't quite work it's somewhere in the middle of the register so the results are not, uh, not accurate. So I'll just demonstrate using this machine. So let me just adjust the camera like that. And um, yeah, it's a very easy machine to use for, for addition and subtraction. You can simply enter a number. This small display here shows how many digits you've entered. And if you press the bus plus button, it adds that number to the internal register and prints it. Prints the number you've entered. So I've now added three numbers together to show the, uh, the subtotal at this moment. You can press this diamond shaped button. So that prints the total and appends this diamond shape to show that it is a subtotal. And so I can continue to add further numbers. If I want to print the total, which is this button, the asterisk button, it prints it with an asterisk and it now resets the internal register. So if I start uh, entering numbers again to add, it starts from zero. Subtraction is just as easy. Let me enter a large number and now subtract a smaller number. Subtraction, you just press the minus button and the total or subtotal first. Here you can see that the number that's being subtracted is printed in red with a minus sign after it. And uh, yeah, this subtotal is, uh, has the diamond after it as, as usual. Suppose I now uh, subtract an even larger number so that the result is negative. And print the total. And you can see that the total is also printed in red with a negative sign. So it handles negative uh, totals uh, correctly. So that's normal addition and subtraction. The, uh, and totals and subtotals. This button with a hash, that is the non-add button. So any number you uh, enter with that is not added to the register and it doesn't affect the register total at all. It's just uh, for things like order numbers or IDs or whatever or dates. It's, uh, yeah, it's just for extra information metadata without affecting the actual calculation. Um, the R button is for repeated addition. If I hold down the R button and uh, a plus, it repeatedly adds that number. I can also uh, 
uh, oh, hang on. The because the number isn't cleared, uh, you can you can clear the uh, the number using the C button. If I subtract something uh, repeatedly with the R button and press the minus, that also works. So, uh, and this is how you would do multiplication on this, uh, the other simpler machine. So, so you could uh, enter a number, repeatedly add it, append a zero, and another zero. So now I've multiplied the number 123 by, let's see, 534 to get this. But yeah, that kind of multiplication is uh, not needed on this machine because it has this, uh, yeah, uh, this built-in uh, multiplier. So I can uh, enter a number and press the multiply button and that sets the first factor of the multiplication. Enter another number and then press either this button or that button, which uh, performs the multiplication and adds it onto the register and in this case prints the subtotal and in this case prints the total. So let's do the subtotal first. So it's multiplied it and printed out the result and that number is still in the register so I can add another multiplication 89 times 65 and that's added on and so on. I can also subtract a multiplication by uh, flipping this small switch here. This will subtract the current multiplication from the uh, result. So I've now printed the, uh, the uh, total, so the register is clear again. I use this button. It's also possible to use the repeat button in combination with the multiply. That will make sure that the, uh, when you set this first factor, that factor is not cleared from the uh, keyboard. So if I want to square something, for example, I can easily do that just by entering the number, using the repeat button with the multiply. So I've set it, but that number is still here in the input. So I can just multiply it by itself by pressing a total button. There we go. 123 squared is 15,129. The multiplication, it uses a shortcut multiplication. So if I enter something like, uh, yeah, six nines, and multiply that by itself, it's going to do it fairly quickly. Because in essence, it only sub essentially subtracts it once and then adds it once further down. So it's only two operations to, to do this multiplication. It's also possible to do uh, repeated multiplication, not just multiplying two items together, but uh, three or more. To do that, you've entered the first factor and entered the second factor. And I'll do the uh, uh, subtotal button so that uh, so that the result this subtotal is still uh, in the register and I can now press the star button the total button and the multiply button at the same time and that sets whatever is currently the total as the ne as the first factor in your following multiplication. So it's a follow-up multiplication of this first one. So if I multiply that by 789,
There we go. So this, this result here is the multiplication of 1, 2, 3 times 4, 5, 6 times 7, 8. Oh, should have been 9. I accidentally did 7, 8, 8. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much everything that you need to know about how to use this, uh, this keyboard. Uh, the uh, the machine has a a smaller indicator here that uh, that can be useful if you're doing various uh, calculations with percentages, uh, but uh, I'll not go into that. Let me lift up this uh, this top of the case. This gives you access to the uh, yeah to the ink ribbon, so it can easily be replaced. Over here is a, a jumper that uh, allows you to select the uh, which voltage to use. The the case is of a really simple design. Uh, if you want to take this apart, you simply pull out the uh, this axle, this rod, and the lid comes off, and the mechanism uh, is released and can be taken out. So this uh, whole case and the mechanism is held together with this one axle here. I've made a, a previous video about the Precisa 117. That's the only machine made by Precisa that uh, is not a, a printing listing uh, adding machine. So uh, in that video I explain a little bit more about the history of the company. So that was the Precisa 160 and the Precisa 364. Thank you for watching.